It's time to answer your Twitter questions here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, today first question comes from Bill who asks, are you still concerned about increased capacity in the airlines? Yeah, I am. I mean, I think that in you know, the last week of July, we're going to see the numbers and that's when you're going to see big estimate cuts. And if you wait for that, I think that's your better entry point. Okay, next viewer says, how much more pain are we expected to endure on Peabody Energy? Uh, well, a lot, because what's happened is, is that there's going to be a pipeline that opens, the Rex pipeline. It's going to take natural gas from Marcellus and Utica to the west. That's a death knell for all the other coal plants. Remember, the coal plants were all built during Jimmy Carter's era, where he said that we're the Saudi Arabia coal. They're 40 years old. That's the length of a coal plant. That's how long they were meant to last. They'll be closed. It's all natural gas. There's no hope for coal in this country. Sean says Micron has dropped 34% in the past month. Will it turn around anytime soon? Uh, I was negative on Micron the last two quarters. I've been right. I'm not going to get positive here. All right. Michael is looking for your take on Coors here. Uh, Coors, I, 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 the beer I like, the handbag company I don't. <laughs> right. Last one comes from Mark, who'd like an update on your thoughts on Fitbit. Look, I think Fitbit, the RBC piece is right. I think it's a really good ecosystem. I think that people are, are misinterpreting what it's really about, and it's about wellness, chiefly for women, by the way. And I think that that's a much bigger market than a lot of the bears think. I still think it can go higher. Thank you so much, Jim. And if you have a stock question, make sure to tweet it at Jim Kramer using hashtag KramerQ.